you are in our hallway of our four bedroom detached property in Surrey and I thought it's a good idea to show you where we live and what the house looks like. So we are in a minimalist house which means we haven't got many things in our house because I don't like clutter. We've got three children and a dog. This is why I prefer having less furniture to having it more because it's then less to clean, right? So everything that you see in the house and I'll show you around I will be listing in the description below so if you wanted to get something for yourself you can just find it in the description below so these pictures are from Amazon you won't find much art in our house because as I said it's very minimalist and right here that's probably the most adventurous thing that you'll find in my house which is the console table which I got from Wayfair it's actually very pretty you can put whatever things you like I was looking for quite a small one because it's not a big space and the mirror we've got from Ticking Max, so we've managed to find a really good deal on this beautiful mirror. So I think to, first, to begin with, we're gonna go into the kitchen. So through to our kitchen, which again, nothing too special. We moved to this house two years ago. So when we moved in, the only thing that we actually done in this kitchen was we've changed the flooring, put our fridge and repainted it. Oh, and another thing that we changed with this i could not stand the gas hot so we've changed it to the induction cooker the furniture remained the same because unfortunately when we were renovating the house everything had to be stripped down everything had to be repainted the gas the electricity the pipes everything had to be run through so we thought it's the best idea to maybe just leave it for now and we have some plans for the house which i will talk to you about in the end of the video i will put down on the screen right now a floor plan for you to see how the house looks from the floor plan perspective. I always like looking at this if you are interested in the property itself. Now this part of the kitchen, which you see here, you can probably see the little arch. I don't know why they left those pillars here. This is the extended part of the kitchen and it was built in 1984. I remember that year because that's the year of when I was born. So when the lady was moving out, she told us this was done in 1984. So it's fairly old. This is why we know we're gonna have to probably redo it very time soon so yeah i'll talk to you about that a little bit later in the kitchen we haven't got too many things i do rely on three appliances mainly one being my coffee machine which keeps me running every single day my air fryer and on the other side of the kitchen you will see my instant pot so these are the three things that i use pretty much every single day and obviously our hob the table that you see here it's actually a table that was inherited from the lady that lived there beforehand and we painted it white just so it looks kind of fresher and matches the decor of the room. The blinds that you see, again, we bought them from Amazon. Pretty much all of our appliances, all of our things in the kitchen are Amazon and Ikea. These are the two go-to shops that we always use. And you can see second set of blinds, which are exactly the same one as you can see on the other window. Because the house is quite old, the windows actually aren't dirty, so it's not because I didn't wash them that they look the way they do, but it's because they retain, the seal on it is broken and they retain the water inside. So yeah, it looks really poorly, but when we're doing what we're going to do to the property, which I'll explain at the end, you will see why we're not changing it yet. So we're going to the living room now. This is the biggest of the room in the house. So I will show you first one side of the living room and then I'll show you the other because it's interesting how we set it up because as i mentioned we've got three children it is pretty much a playroom for the children at the moment we do have a big tv where sometimes we sit down and watch tv all together but really this is only when the guests come over we sit down here have a cup of tea on our ikea table which as you know is not very expensive but because we've got children again they do tend to draw and make it messy, so we didn't invest in anything too expensive. Same as sofas, they are extremely old now. They had been bought when Angie was two years old, she is now 12, so we've had them for 10 years. But we're going to change them once the children are a little bit more grown up and they stop jumping on it because that's all they do, hence they look the way they do. So the picture here that you see is from TK Max, and it was so big that I struggled to put it in the shopping trolley and then in my car. But I'm glad I brought it because it's like a floating picture, I really, really liked it. And guys, I am not one for the like interior design. I'm terrible when it comes to it, but I really thought this would look nice here. So maybe let's move to this corner where you can see a little bit of the alcohol collection. Now, this is my husband's thing. He loves to collect alcohol. This is only 5% of the collection that he owns because the rest of it is hidden away in the storage. 
and he keeps saying that once we extend the house okay i said it already we're going to extend the house once we extend the house he's going to build a special bar where he's going to have the full display of his lovely collection of his alcohols once he's going to build that collection he's going to open his own channel where he's going to be reviewing his whiskey here you go i said it so hubby you have to do it now all right there is no excuse people are counting on you and um, as in regards to the cabinets, we actually got them secondhand and they also Ikea. I don't think they do them anymore, but I really like that they are glass design. And please don't look inside, there's a lot of dust in there. I've not cleaned it yet, never mind. <laughs> I'm not a perfect housewife. So this little table here is from Ikea. I did show it in one of my videos actually before when I bought it. I really like my plants collection. This is a very recent thing that I got into, which is collecting plants. That little table again is from TK Maxx and it wasn't very expensive so I thought I would pick it up. The sound bar and the TV, my husband goes, no idea where is it from. The plant is from Ikea and that's the second part of the whiskey collection, um, which as I mentioned is only a very tiny amount of it. And some lots of jelly beans so when the kids behave and they want to have a little treat, we keep it locked so they can't just easily get to it. But when they are behaving well and we want to give them a little treat, this is where we head into. And this chair is from Ikea, you might have seen it before. We have managed to put it together with my husband in one of our Ikea hall before. And yeah, in regards to the lighting, we've got spotlights by the way in every single room in the house because when we renovated it, we had to run the whole electricity throughout the house. And because of which we just decided it's easiest option to just put spotlights so much more convenient and probably you know i don't have to then worry about lights and everything so let me take you to the second part of our living room which is currently used as gym so during the pandemic as we all know we were unable to use the gym so my husband managed to find a gym equipment which is actually really good quality and it does not have to be connected to the electricity. Do I exercise on it? No, because we both have gym membership. <laughs> and now after the pandemic, we've returned to the gym, but we're keeping it. Why? Because we want to also build something at the back of the garden, which I'll show you in a minute where. And once we build a nice outbuilding, this is going to be serving as our gym. So we're going to put this equipment there and then we both can just exit the gym membership because then we can exercise over there. So since we already downstairs, I really, really want to take you to the garden, which is the focal point of our house. And if it wasn't for the garden, I promise you we would not bought this house because this house needed everything doing to it. So since my husband saw the garden, he said, we're buying this house because it's got beautiful garden. So come outside with me guys. And please excuse the mess, as I said, we've got three children, so they do tend to bring toys around and just place everything wherever they feel like. So this beautiful arch that you see here was actually made by my husband. He's really much into DIY and he loves building things himself. So one sunny day last year, he had a lot of time, he bought a wood, we put this all together and we painted it and I think it looks beautiful because it kind of opens up into a garden and it's in a blue color as well which you can see at the end of the garden we have a beautiful shed as well which is like a sand house we painted that blue as well and I've painted a herb box as well you will see in a minute so this garden is about 40 meters long I don't actually know the exact measurement but I just walk up and down to see how many steps I've taken and I've taken 41 steps so I reckon it's about 40 meters so it's fairly long. We are surrounded by seven neighbors. And it looks stunning in the night. I'll put a picture up here of how it looks at night. Come with me, because I want to show you where we want to do this outbuilding. guys would have seen us doing some um, project lately where we tried clearing out the back of the garden it's growing again so we have a little sand house here where Josh grows these tomatoes and they actually growing you can see little tomatoes there um, but yeah this is where we're gonna put a big outbuilding and put a gym in there it's a project to happen after the extension and after the garage conversion which we also want to do so there's a lot of plans for our house 
because it has so much potential that you can just extend it out outwards, upwards, sideways and every direction that you want because it's just so big but yet not big enough according to my husband so he wants to make it bigger so there is more space for me to clean <laughs> so the sand house was made for the children it is again very messy at the moment I've not had a chance to clean it but children like coming here I must say however they are a little bit afraid of spiders which they <laughs> quite often like to come here um, yeah Puffy loves this space actually Puffy do you want to go in? all right since I showed you the garden now let's go upstairs shall we So there is one more place that we have downstairs, which is a downstairs toilet. And that's the only place that we haven't actually touched since we moved into the house. So it's really dated and not something I'm really proud of showing to people. However, we left it like that because we knew we were going to do the conversion in the garage and that will be locked off and joined with the garage itself. So that's when it's going to be renovated. So it's kind of pointless spending the money twice to renovate the bathroom because it would have been renovated again. And as you can see, it's not huge, but it will be enough for a shower room. So there is a toilet, very old vanity unit, some plants, and that's it. And my weights, which I used to use a lot during the pandemic, not anymore. So, shall we go upstairs now? So these curtains, I think, look really amazing. There's a lot of echo in this room because it's pretty much empty. I got them from Amazon, I think they look really pretty and you can see just a little bit of pictures hanging up on the walls of little babies or when my babies were babies and they, they're still young but not as babies as they were here. These frames I actually got from Primark believe it or not so they costed me one pound per four. Talk about being frugal. And these frames were given by my mum, she bought them from Debenhams actually so they're really pretty and I just put up some pictures of children when they were young. So yeah, moving on to the rest of the hallways. Did I mention that Toffee has three beds around the house? One you saw downstairs in the kitchen, the other is here in the hallway, and one is in our bedroom. So she chooses where to sleep. <laughs> Obviously when we leave the house, we leave it in the kitchen. That's where she stays. But during the night time, really, whatever her mood's like, sometimes she comes and sleeps with us, sometimes she sleeps in the hallway. So one of our beds is right here. And that is actually a bed that we had left over from our previous dog. So we had Dora two years ago, she passed away. So we kept this bed kind of in a memory of her. And now that we have Toffee, she now taken over this bed. So upstairs you have four bedrooms and two bathrooms. Well, one is a toilet, one is a bathroom. So let me take you to our master bedroom. So this is my bed, which I love so much. Anyway, talking of a bed, we got this, this is by the way, super king size bed, so it's fairly large, but we love on Sunday morning when the children just come into our bed, all of them, so it's five of us, easily fit in a bed, and we can just chill and watch some TV in the morning. It's just really nice to have them all fitting together without needing to push anyone off the bed because it's not big enough to fit everyone. This room probably has the most furniture in, in any of the rooms, and although it is still minimalist, we do have quite a few furniture here comparing to other rooms and this is only because this is my main bedroom so I get ready here we've got chest of drawer and yet again all the furniture that you see here are from Ikea um, yeah, TV, PlayStation so when my husband wants to have a little bit of a chilling time he comes here and plays his PlayStation when it comes to the curtains I've got them from Amazon yet again and what I like about it is that little diamond tea detail here so they're not really blackout, but I really liked that diamond tea because when the lights are on, the spotlights are on, it really shines through. And maybe once it's dark, I'm going to take a nice shot of it so, to show you. But probably you'll see it already, how it's like really nicely sparkly. Love a little bit of a bling bling. This is third of Toffee's bed. I have um, already showed you that in previous videos. It comes from Amazon again. And also this plant stand is from Amazon. So when I was kind of starting to build up my collection of plants, I wanted to get something where I can just put all the plants on or at least some of them. So they are all in one place as opposed to me putting them on a window shelf because I didn't think, you know, once you do the curtains, the window shelves in England are just not wide enough. Like in Poland, we do like to put 
a lot of the plants on the window shelves. So I think this looks really pretty. The bedding that you see comes from Next, and it's actually from Monsoon, but I bought it off Next. The cushions, I think these were from Matalan. That one is from Next as well. And the bed itself is from Amazon. And that big picture, you might have seen it in Ikea because it's one of the most popular picture that people buy. I don't know why, but I like it. Maybe that's why people just like it. So the dressing table is, as I've mentioned, from Ikea. And I've had it for so many years now, probably about eight or nine years. And it, it is dated now, it needs replacing, but I still love it and it's standing, so we're leaving it until it falls apart. The picture, this, is, this was done. 30 years ago when we got married. Actually 12, because that was done on my second wedding in Poland when we had our Polish wedding. I really like it. We both look so young. And this is from Ikea, PlayStation, TV, a clock, I don't know where from. This little stand that I have here from TK Maxx, if I remember that right. And the plant is from Costco. So sometimes if I see really nice plants in Costco, I pick them up as well because they have they tend to have the big plants, so if you want to have the big plants, that's where you go to buy them. So, behind this door is where I hide my Dyson and my ironing board. And right here, you will see, is my bespoke wardrobes. So they were built in once we moved in. And I did do actually a video, I will link this in the description below, where I talked about the wardrobes and where we got them from. So if you wanted to get them built into your house, this is a really nice solution because it's just down to your expectations. You tell them how do you want it to be done and they do it for you. So I think the next room that I'll take you to is my children's room. So this is where my boys sleep. And as you can see, it's teamed into dinosaurs. So two years ago, they were a little bit younger and they were very much into dinosaurs. At the moment, they're more into Avengers and superheroes, but I'm not going to be redecorating it as yet. Maybe in a couple of years time when they completely ruined this wall this room because they already have done so many damages to that room. Never mind, what can you do? Kids are kids, right? So yeah, this double bed I got from Amazon and I really like that it has small double and single on top, which makes it possible for me to actually come and lie down with the youngest one who sleeps at the bottom. So whenever he needs me at night, I'll come and cuddle him. And this light, you will notice it has missing cover on the light bulb and this is my fault because when I was changing the bedding I managed to knock it off and it just shattered into million pieces so if you put it up it looks really pretty however <laughs> the lack of the cover really makes it look not as pretty but really it was my husband's idea it was actually quite pricey and I'll link it down in the description but yeah he really liked it because I think he always wanted to have a light like that so he installed it for the boys because it was his kind of fantasy from the childhood. The furniture here that you see is all from Ikea and they are actually furniture that Anjali, my eldest one, used to have in a room and I repurposed it for the, per for the use of the boys. So they are growing out of it and although I'm just about managing to put stuff in here, they've already been, I've already been using the bottom two drawers for the clothes because I'm running out of space because they're growing and the wardrobe is growing as well so I'm gonna have to replace it soon as well. And a desk is from Ikea as well. It used to be in my office, it used to be used as my main desk. Um, then I got myself a new one, which I'll talk to you about once we get into my office room. So next I'll show you Angelie's room. Oh, I forgot she's in school. <laughs> so this is my little princess's room. It's green because when we were painting our house, we had lots of paint left and she did say that she did like the color. And the stickers here is what my husband's put up for her. And um, yeah, I will link that in the description as well. The bed here you can see is quite old. I bought it for her a very, very long time ago. It was actually mid-level sleeper. And then once we moved in, we thought she's too big now to have a mid-level bed. So we took the sides of the bottom off and the ladder and she's just using it as a main bed at the moment. She does like to rearrange this room. So sometimes she, during the winter, when it's quite cold, she likes to sleep like the radiator. So we move the bed over here, the desk goes here and a little cabinet over here. She has a little fan here as well. So when it's really nice and hot, this is what she puts on so that she doesn't go out at night. And the curtains, I believe I got them from Amazon as well because I get everything from Amazon. Where else would I be getting? Yeah, it's from Amazon for sure. 
So the design here on the wall is again a sticker so you can take it out but unfortunately my daughter has been curious to peel it off so because she's been peeling it off it's starting to fall off but yeah we're going to replace it and repaint the whole room because the paint starts to come off as well this is when we're trying to actually stick it up with a heat gun so that hopefully we were hoping it's actually going to stick better to the wall but it didn't and as a result we've got a lot of peeled paint which looks awful but i hope you can't tell so much <laughs> if i wouldn't tell you probably wouldn't notice when you so moving on to here when we were doing our best bulk wardrobes this is when the guys came and installed this as well so inside the wardrobe i don't know if i should open it but let's risk it inside the wardrobe you have really nicely separated space so she can hang stuff she can put stuff away what a mess and those four mirrors are from ikea and i just stacked them here because there was no mirror and as a little girl obviously she wants to see herself how she looks we have alexa downstairs and google upstairs so she talks to google we talk to alexa anyway let me take you to my office now oh hi yes welcome to my office so this is where is my battle station i record my videos here and i work as well so we use it as the office for my husband needs for his business and i also do a bit of a blogging here and my youtube channel you would have seen this room many times before if you have watched my videos before so i've got some lights here so it's kind of a behind the scene for you because you might have wondered how this room looks and although i have shown you before when i was actually doing the project makeover where i was making this room into the office so it wasn't always an office it was like a storage room beforehand because we just didn't have time or didn't have money to convert this into the office room but now it's my office and you would have seen that you're probably very familiar with the setup of this calyx system which is from ikea all the bits and bobs in here are from various places obviously i need a printer it's not the prettiest thing to see on top of it but at the moment i just haven't got anywhere else to put it and I need the daily, this is why it's here. On top here, my ACC certificate and CPC transport manager. So you would have seen me talking about that quite a lot on my channel as well. And in here, we just got a planner. So being a transport manager and having a transport business, we have to make sure that we stay on top of all of the dates of PMI, MOT, and all the other taxes and insurances. So that's where we annotate it and make sure that we stick to it. Although it doesn't always work because we tend to forget to look at it but we're learning. So yeah, that's my office. I think the last two places to show you would be the bathroom and the toilet. So let's go. So as you come out of my office, straight into the toilet, it's not kind of been finished to the standard I would want it to be finished, but it's just an additional toilet. So when the kids are in a rush and someone's in a bathroom, they can always use it. That's it, enough. I'm not showing you more because it's not very nice. So in here is the main bathroom, but it never used to look like that. So when we moved in, the door were right here and it was just a little bathroom, literally. It was just a bath with a little sink. There was no toilet in there. So I really did not like the idea of it. So I've asked my husband to get the builder to shift the door over here. Earlier was the airing cupboard in here. So they removed the airing cupboard because we've changed the heating system into the central heating. So the water tank was no longer needed and We've made the bathroom a little bit larger to what it was before. Again, it's a very minimist bathroom because we haven't got too many things in here. There is literally a bath, toilet and a sink. That's all you need in the bathroom, right? We've got underflooring, central heating and those tiles are gorgeous. And on top of those beautiful tiles is a rug, which is really nice and soft and is from Costco. Everything that we've got in the bathroom was actually bought from Amazon, believe it or not, because Amazon sells anything that you like and it's delivered straight to your door the next day. So when we were in a rush to book anything, as opposed to going to the shop, we would just order it online. And I keep all of our toiletries in here. I know it's a bit messy. And my squidgy. Squidgy is really useful. So if you're a lazy mom like me, as opposed to cleaning your bathroom every day, what I do after everyone's had shower, I just make sure that I go with a squidgy on top of my tiles and this keeps them really nice and clean. So I don't have to then polish them to make them look nice and squeaky. So since I've showed you everything around the house, I hope you enjoyed it. 
What I wanted to mention as well that our house is a little bit smart house is not entirely smart because it doesn't have all of the kind of smart properties that you want to have in a smart house but what we do have is a nest system which is fire and carbon dioxide detector and that is connected to our mobiles so whenever there is a fire in the house we would be alerted when we're outside the house and another thing we have is the nest central heating with artificial intelligence so the system learns your heating patterns and it sets it up for you when we leave the house the heating switches off so it's really good because it's energy efficient and it saves us some money at the end of the year So as you noticed outside, we also got a ring system, which is preventing intruders to walk into our house. Hopefully we can catch them on the camera if they ever come. Thank you so much for coming and visiting. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, share and comment and I hope to see you soon. Adios.